Hi, welcome to the Campaign Cartographer 3 Overland Mapping Tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go through the basics of making your own map. We're going to look at some of the tools that you can use for quickly making maps, as well as some of the advanced features that let you automate a great deal of your map making. In this tutorial, we're going to create a pirate island. Here's an example of the sort of map we're going to make. You can see that it's going to be quite detailed. I'll just zoom in a bit there for you. We're also going to take the same map and render it out as a player's handout in this fashion. Again, we can zoom in. To do this, we're going to make extensive use of both layers and, in particular, sheets. Before we start, it will be a good idea to look at the work area that you have got. Campaign Cartographer is broken into a range of different areas. Each area has a specific purpose and a specific set of tools. The most obvious area is this one here. This is your view. Typically you'll only have one view, but Campaign Cartographer is capable of giving you multiple views of the same map. Basically, it's the area that lets you view what you're working on, hence the word view. At the moment, we don't have anything in our view except for this lovely big Campaign Cartographer 3 logo. But as we work on our map, that's where you'll be seeing the map come into creation. The next area which is very important is this menu section across the top. File, Edit, View, Draw, Tools, Symbols, Overland, etc. This text menu gives you very detailed control over a range of options. Obviously, the file menu is one that you'll want to become familiar with because this is where you save your work. Underneath the main menu, you then have what I like to refer to as the status bar. This is really important because it shows you what your current sheet is. I'll explain sheets in a little while. What the currently selected color is. If you have a pen, this will be how wide it is. The width of any lines that you will be drawing what layer you are currently working with, and again, I'll describe layers in a bit more detail later, what sort of line you'll be drawing, whether it be a solid line or a dotted line or whatever, and what sort of fill you'll be using. If you draw a shape, which is called a polygon in this system, it will have a certain fill style, FS for fill style. In this case, it's set to solid. Keep very, very close track of what's happening in your status bar along here, Many of the tools that you use will change the various settings. For example, they will change the sheets, the layers, the solids, the fill styles from solid into other things. You can keep track of what's happening by looking at the status bar. The button menu along here is a quick way of accessing a range of important features, such as creating a new map, opening existing maps, saving maps, and so forth. This selection of buttons here is known as the tool buttons. These may change depending on what type of mapping you're working on, but for overland mapping, it's basically just this lot here. We're going to be using these tools to quickly create our map, as you'll see in a short while. Down here, we have a range of tools that allow you to edit specific things as you're working on them in your map. You can move elements on your map, you can move and copy elements on your map, rotate elements, and resize elements. Over here, we have a range of tools which is used for zooming, panning, and changing your view. For example, if I click on the zoom function, and then zoom in here, we get a close-up. This button here is really useful. It's called Zoom to Extents, which basically means you'll zoom out your map so that everything can fit into your viewable area. Occasionally, you'll want to press this button here, which redraws the entire map. To save processing time, Campaign Cartographer frequently does not update the entire map when you're working on it, and so clicking on this button will refresh your entire screen. These buttons down here are your drawing tool buttons. You can draw lines, curves, 
filled areas or polygons, even text using these tools. And underneath them, we have a range of tools that modify what you're currently working with. So if you wanted to draw one line and have it start at the end of another line, you would first click on your line drawing tool and then click on one of these endpoints, midpoints or whatever. We'll be using all of these tools as we do our mapping, so don't fret. Finally, there is the command line here where you can actually type in very powerful commands into the CAD engine or the computer aided design engine that sits underneath the campaign cartographer. You can also select your grid settings and snap to grid and attaching lines to other lines automatically with these buttons here. Over here we have a catalog of symbols. Symbols are beautiful graphics that you can drop onto your maps to very very quickly give a professional finish.